Joining me now to dissect it all is Prosecutor Paul Henderson in San Francisco and in West Palm. We have Criminal Defense Attorney Michelle Suskauer. Also joining me once again is Fox News legal analyst and Las Vegas native Bob Massey. Bob, let me start with you. Um, talk about ways to undermine your chances of an acquittal on the murder charge. Uh, add to that the possible charge of solicitation of murder that Craig Titus, I guess, could potentially be facing if he's linked to the guy Brady. Well, let me tell you, I mean, the thing that's really, that's devastating for them, and even though there's no tie right now with Titus to this, to this solicitation, Megan, from a community perspective, I will tell you, it's tainted the entire case even more so. I mean, they just have an uphill battle. As Glenn was telling, the evidence really, as you timeline this entire situation, and this guy, Anthony Gross, who's allegedly one of the material witnesses who was apparently there when the body was basically decomposed, this is one of the persons they wanted to whack in this particular situation. These people have an uphill battle. As it relates to Brady, as you know, solicitation is not really difficult to prove. And so if they have enough evidence for that, they'll get, the, they'll get Brady or maybe there'll be some type of deal made. The other side of it is I'm concerned about these key witnesses. I mean, understand that they've given testimony to the grand jury, but as we know, there's no cross-examination in that situation. How volunteer will these people be right. as it relates to coming forth and testifying in this case? It's got to be uh, just a little scary, to say the least. Paul, let I me would ask say you. So. You're, you're a prosecutor. You, the, the cops, they've arrested Brady, but really, they probably want to pin this on Titus. They're probably going to try, try to get Brady to, to turn on Titus. Am I wrong? Well, well, they've already told us what they're doing, and that is going through these tapes and going through these recorded conversations. And I think that's exactly what they're doing, is trying to find a link between Brady's behavior and Titus's information. Uh, it's clear what prosecutors are going to be doing is looking for things that will link them in terms of uh, Titus, uh, Titus facilitating, assisting, or encouraging Brady's behavior. And the tough questions that people are going to be asking are, how did Brady get that information and why did he focus on those specific individuals and was provided with, from someone, their full names and addresses? And also, where did that money come from? Yeah. And also, why would he be focusing on these individuals but not for his relationship with Titus? Right. What motive so, does Brady have to, to have these witnesses knocked off, you know, if, if there is any?